This is a live look at Westminster Hall. It's just after 11 o'clock in London, and lines of mourners continue to stream in to pay their respects to Queen Elizabeth II as her body lies in state. Eyewitness News anchor Jim Donovan joins us now from London. And Jim, we've been told the Queen's children will return to Westminster Hall tomorrow. Is that correct? Good evening. That is correct. Good evening, Yuki. Tomorrow, King Charles III and his three siblings, Edward, Andrew, and Anne, will hold a vigil around their mother's coffin. That will be at 7.30 local time. That's 2.30 Philadelphia time. Then on Monday, they will accompany the coffin as it makes its way to Westminster Abbey for the funeral. By then, as many as 750,000 people are expected to have passed by the coffin to pay their respects to the Queen. Today, the line stretched four and a half miles, the wait nine, point nine hours. Most say they wanted to not only say goodbye, but to express their gratitude as well. She was my age when she became queen, and I can only imagine how much she had to learn and sacrifice for that. It's uh, a momentous occasion, and um, I am finding myself feeling more emotional the closer I get. It's incredibly moving, you know, seeing her. And. Um, you know, her troops and her people walking past. The royal family has set up a website where you can share a note about the Queen. We're told that some of the messages will be passed on to members of the royal family. If you'd like to leave a condolence note, we've put a link for you on CBSPhiladelphia.com. 2,000 guests have been invited to the state funeral, among them President Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden. On Monday, following the service here at Westminster Abbey, a service will be held at Windsor, and Queen Elizabeth II will be laid to rest next to her husband, Philip, who died last year. Here. Reporting live from London, I'm Jim Donovan, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Back to you in the studio. And once again, Jim, we thank you so much. Jim will be in London all week to give us the latest on the tributes to the Queen. When we are not on television, you can always find his updates at CBSPhiladelphia.com.